Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about application of derivative. So now I want to show you how to answer. Find the volume of the largest rectangular box in the first octant with three faces in the coordinate planes and one vertex in the plane S plus Y plus Z equal to 13. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing, we need to draw the diagram in here. So this is for S, this is for Y, and this one for Z. So the planes S plus Y plus Z equals to 13. Let's say we put Y and Z equal to number 0, S equal to 13. So number 13 for S, that should be in here. Similar for S and Z equal to number 0. So we have Y equal to number 13. So that should be in here. And similar for Z. Now we connect three points in here. And this is about the plant. And we need to use the dot line because they behind the plant in here. So for the next one, we know that three faces in the coordinate lengths. That means they on S, Y, and Z blend in here. So, for symbol, we put this ball in here, this ball in here, and this ball in here, because another one vertex in the plan S plus Y plus Z equal to number 13. Let's say I connect about one ball in somewhere in here on the plan. So, this one. we will have like this. And now this spot behind the plant. So, let's say the point in here, that is about A, with the point S, Y, Z. If we look carefully about point eight S, Y, Z, we can see that this one we can know about S in here, Y in here, and Z in here represent the same with S, Y, Z, and we know that this point A belongs to the plant. So that means we have the connection between S, Y, Z with the plant S plus Y plus Z equal to number 13. Now we have the volume that's about S, Y, Z. So this is the formula to find the volume of the rectangular box. However, S, Y, S, S, Y, Z in here, because if we look in this point, this is represent about point A. They also represent about the length, the width, and the height 
of the rectangular box. So we gonna use about this one in here. So we know that z equal to 13 minus x minus y. So we put this one to change one variable of this one in here. Now we need to expand. So we want to find the largest vo volume of this one. So we need to find first the derivative of V with respect to S. So this one we have number one. This one we have two S. That is about the power roof. This one, oh sorry, this one. That is about number one. Now we do similar for y. This one we have number one. This one we have two y. And this one we have. Oh, sorry, wrong. This one we have 1, so we have s square. This one we have 2y. Now, because we want to find the critical point, so we put this one and this one equals to number 0. So we put this one and this one equals to number zero now if we look carefully they always equals to number zero in here now we connect two equations together. Now we simplify negative 2xy for the both sides. So I will put this one go to the left. So we can do about factorization in here. This one we have s minus y, s plus y. So this one we can change the side by put the negative outside. So S minus Y we can do about factorization. So we will have s minus y equals to number 0 and s plus y minus 13 equals to number 0. So this one we have s equals to y and the second one s plus y equals to number 13. However, if we put this one go back to here. We have 13 minus 13, z equals to number 0, so we cannot create a bar rectangular box. So this one we need to reject. So 
So we put s equal to y. Go back to this one. So we can get like this. So this one, we will have 13s minus 3s square. Now we can do about factorization. This one, if we calculate, we have s equal to number 0. Number 0 cannot accept in here because if we put number 0, we don't have about the rectangular box. And we have the second one. And that's about 13 over 3. Because we know that s equal to y, so y equal to 13 over 3. And after we have s and y, we calculate about z in here. And they still get about 13 over 3. And now we can find the largest volume in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.